In the upside-down world of the North Carolina General Assembly, sometimes the simplest ideas are the hardest to get done. Representative Verla Insko found this out recently when she proposed what, on its face, is a pretty simple idea. She says, let's set up a health care policy council. What this council would do would be provide a meeting place where patients and doctors, insurance companies and drug companies, and all other healthcare interests would sit down and do two things. The first is to figure out how to make healthcare more affordable. The second is to figure out a healthcare plan so that every single person in North Carolina could afford to buy health insurance. Doesn't seem like a too ra radical idea to have everyone sit down and talk, but from the reaction she got, you'd think she was proposing banning smoking in the General Assembly or something. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. Follow me into the North Carolina General Assembly. Let's go in the front doors here, and then we'll head to the meeting room where Representative Insko is explaining the theory behind her bill. Because I think it's really time for this General Assembly to get serious about this problem. We are facing uh, incredible competition from other countries now. And we won't have a workforce that's competitive if we don't have a healthy, well-educated workforce. I think we've been denying that. We've been, uh, maybe it's in the back of our minds. We need to bring it to the front of our minds. If you look at the polls now, health care, access to health care, affordable health care is number one, two, or three. Creating a more competitive workforce in North Carolina. Access to health care for everyone, a top concern of voters. You'd think that Representative Insko's Policy Council would be a slam dunk. But she didn't consider the opposition from folks down there on Right Wing Avenue. Let's see later in that same hearing what one of their members said about prevention, a key component of any health care reform. The other uh, third assumption that I see in this that, that seems questionable is the idea that prevention is the best, most effective way to prevent, to provide medical care. A uh, number of studies that I've seen suggest that waiting until somebody is actually sick is actually a better way to provide care and a cheaper way, more effective way to do that, rather than testing a million people to find a thousand people who might have something wrong. That makes a lot of sense. Who needs all those pesky mammograms anyway? Let's let the cancer really take hold before we start to treat it. Well, that's not all that Representative Insko has to deal with. Let's take a look at somebody making the other perennial argument against change. Access to health care is already available. Here's Will Newman, a representative from Gaston County. Access is available. Uh, in my community, we have one of the best um, rural health or community health centers in the state. Community health centers are great, but what if you have a serious bone fracture, or you need your appendix out, or you've got cancer? That's when having health insurance is critical. Let's adjourn to one of the pleasant fountains inside the North Carolina General Assembly building to finish this commentary. Good thing they have these soothing fountains here in the General Assembly building. Looking at debate like we've just seen, it's enough to make anyone's blood pressure go through the roof. Representative Insko's bill creating the Policy Council is still bottled up in the House. We'll see if it passes before the end of session. I'm Adam Searing.